Welcome to Genuine Cora guys. Today I am going to start a new tutorial series on Java FX animations and in this tutorial I will be covering a lot of Java FX animation basics and some of you told me that it will be better if I go for building a project while showing you how to use the transition classes and I thought yeah that's a very good idea and that's how we are going to do that so let's start with translation animation and this is w what a translation animation looks like this is a button which is uh, put over a background image and the button is moving with in both x and y axis so let's do that let's start by making a new project and that's the way I do it right starting from the base so I'm going to start a Java FX application with a FXML application and I'm going to name it animation tutorial so that's fine let's create the project finish so we got the project and I will show you how to create that background effect that we have seen I, I know you are all interested in that so let's get into the fxml file so this is the fxml fxml document file i think it's taking a while okay it's loaded so i have a click me button i don't want that and i'm going to remove this label also and instead of anger pane I am I want a stack pane here because I want to put a background image and a button so I'm going to take a stack pane so I got a stack pane and what I want is I want to add a, an image view so this is an image view so I got an image view I want to increase its size that's fine and I want to add another anchor pane for my button because I can't put the button right there so I got an image view and an anchor pane and I'm going to choose a JFX button I have covered what is this J JFX buttons are these are the material design buttons and if you want to know more about them go and watch that tutorial and that's it so I got a button and I am going to change the name to click me so that's fine and I want to set the background color so I'm going to set the background color to some kind of red so it's RGB FF 0000 okay it's red and I want to set the text color also so FX text fill and I'm going to change the text color to white and I want to make this button round right so for FX radius fx background radius and that should be some kind of 200 and I am going to make this as a round one so now we have got a round button so I have set this to 200 because it is not a precise value I have set it to 200 and if I make this button to some kind of uh, square I mean uh, square which is less than 200 in one side you will get it as a round one if you set it to something like 20 then we have lost the roundness but if you set to 2000 in every case that will be a circle so I thought you understood the point so I have got that and I want to set the image there was an infinity image which I took from Google and instead of animation tutorial I will have to copy that image so going to Java FX to no tutorial I am going to the sample section and in the source packages I have an image called infinity image so I'm going to paste it right here and I'm going to add that image here so infinity image that's cool that's good but we are missing the blur so I'm going to add some effect with the Gaussian blur so not for button I'm sorry not for that button I'm going for that image view and effect 
Gaussian blur okay I want to increase the Gaussian blur so something like that okay just increasing the edge so okay now let's run the program animation tutorial so there is an error so the problem is I haven't added the JPhoenix library and I have used the JFX button so I have to add that JPhoenix jar file since I have used the JPhoenix button so I'm going to add that home and the project is animation tutorial and I have copied that jar file here and now let's run the program so so far so good we got the background in a blurred fashion and we got a button with some cool material design effect and what we are gonna do is now we are gonna do the actual coding so we have to give some variable names this is the button we are interested I'm going to give some raising effect and go set the code and in that code I am gonna give the name as button so I have given the name button and I don't have this label anymore so I can generate the controller skeleton by clicking right clicking on the fxml file and make controller now let's do the animation coding so the animation is provided in the java java.fx.animation.class and let's have a look into that so we are interested in JavaFX.animation and in this animation you can see that there is a fade transition, there is keyframe and that's not enough. there is a path transition, post transition, timeline etc. And out of these animations the translate transition is the one that I feel the simplest one so I'm gonna start with that. So we are going to use the create a class of the translate transition. So translate transition, transition equals new translate transition so we are going to create a new object of this translation class and that is set and we can set the duration and if you want to look for the constructor or overloading there are three constructors in which in the first case we pass nothing and second case we can pass the duration so duration is nothing but the duration of the animation which you will see soon and there is a duration and node that is translate transition with two parameters and for the sake of simplicity I'm going to use the simplest one so we have the transition transition dot and in the first step we are going to set the duration so transition dot set duration and you can set the duration to one this is nothing but duration dot one which is one second and I recommend you to use the uh, milliseconds or seconds value which is better in case and indefinite means it is kind of infinite duration and I will show the use of this in def in this variable or this value later and zero means zero I am going to set the seconds value so duration dot seconds and I want to uh, make the duration or transition for four seconds so it is set to four that's great if you want fine control you can go for milliseconds so the it is set to zero and the next thing the very basic thing that we have to do is to connect this button for transition because we have created a transition and we need to tell the or we have to associate this button object for this transition and so that that can be done by set node and I am going to pass a button and if you want to animate a checkbox or a panel or a pane in Java effects then you can pass that component right here and the last thing I want to do is transition dot play so that was simple right let's run the code so now it's running and it is showing nothing that is because we haven't given what we want to do I mean we haven't given any X or y values so that can be done here so suppose I want to make this button move from here to here then I can change the value of y because this is the y axis this is the x axis and the screen a plane that is crossing through the screen is the z axis so I'm gonna change the y value a little bit so transition dot set to y 
So in this case, I want to move this button to the center of screen, which is in the backward direction. So I'm going to give a value of minus 200. And now let's run the code. Now you can see that it is moving 200 pixels to the back position from the original position. So this was the initial position and it has gone 200 pixels to the top. And if you want to give, uh, if you want to change the X value also, you can set that by giving set to X and I am going to change to minus 100. So now let's run the code and you can see that we are getting an inclined plane or in an inclined line of animation and so that's fine and if you want to uh, let's run the code again and you can see that the button is going right here and if you want to make this button come back to the original position i mean reverse the animation that is very much simple so that is that can be achieved using transition dot set auto reverse and we can set the value as true so when you set the auto reverse as true the animation will itself reverse and another interesting thing is translation uh, transition dot set cycle count so if i set this to two then you can see that the button will go right here in the first four seconds and after the completion of forward animation it will come back in this direction so that is the meaning of using the auto reverse and let's see what happens if we don't use this transition in that case it will make some uh, it will go right here and it will come back here in a second and will go there so that's it it is some kind of unthinkable animation right i like the previous one so that's the difference between the auto reverse property and cycle count and if you want to do something more interesting then you can set this to cycle uh, translate transition dot indefinite Th what this means is that there is no cycle count the animation will repeat itself until the end until the program is closed so it's going in this direction and it's coming back into the original position and it is going back again so that's what is meant by the translate transition dot indefinite cycle count method so that's it that's how we do that and i'm going to increase the delay uh, decrease the delay to two seconds and i want to see my coding it so that's great and one more interesting thing there is that if you want to do something after the completion of animation suppose when you uh, when the button reaches here you want to do something some processing then you can attach a listener to the animation so let's see how we can do that so i'm going to set this side i'm going to remove this one and this run one for the sake of simplicity and after the animation i want to give some message so transition dot set on finished so that's a method so it takes an event handler so i'm going to use the e method so so that's a uh, as simple as it can get which is a lambda expression and after the completion of this animation i want to give some alert so i'm going to give some alert alert is equal to new alert which is the this is the default alert class and the information alert dot set header text completed and i want to show the highlight alert dot show now let's run the code so after two, se two seconds i should get this message so that's it the message completed is got after the completion of the transition so that's it that's how we use the translate transition guys i hope you understood how to use this transition and in the coming videos in this series i will show you the remaining animation in this translate transition which are too awesome and please give me your comments about this tutorial I, if i was too thorough with this session and you want to make this video shorter you can say that and as always like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos thank you